good evening students and uh, it's really you know nice to see all of you all after such a long time it's uh, really the hard times of the pandemic that we are facing and uh, our director sir has initiated this program so that uh, kids will you know students will also you know keep themselves occupied and see how we can groom your skills so this is really a very important moment for us to reflect and see how we can you know enhance your skills because all of you i know are sitting with your laptops and sitting with your iphones so we are not very sure you know if all of this is really going to help you develop your social skills so we are focusing on how to improve your vocabulary how to improve your speaking skills and all of this is very very essential because i'm sure all this is going to end and very soon and you are going to reach the platform where you want to speak to people and you want to raise your bars by like seeking a pedestal which is of a higher status so when you belong to the school called velama we always think of helping you to enrich your skills and all of you who are chosen by your schools are very very important people you know that in every class there are just five entries do you know that yes so every school we have chosen just five students from class 6 so there are 300 students in some of the school class 6 we have just chosen five so which was you all are all the very privileged people who are here with us today and today is a very special day because this is the inaugural function or inaugural uh what to say orientation session for all of you and we will now start interacting on a weekly basis from the month of july june we will be having a focus on seeing how to connect with you all how to have some screening tests how do we have some diagnostic tests with you all and we will see how all of you are reaching the level to see that yes i can you know really start debating i can always speak confidently in front of others so many of you will think oh is it possible for me to stand there on a high pedestal and speak to people so when and debating is not so easy that we write out in a chart of paper or you know on a piece of paper and we just speak in front of the audience most of the times public speaking we have a piece of paper with us but that is not going to be possible because it's all going to be very spontaneous so debating is a spontaneous type of speaking where you pick up what your i mean uh, uh, your uh, the other team or your rival team speaks and you have to immediately pick up the points and spontaneously work with your i mean uh, thinking skills critical thinking skills i should say so you have to critically analyze the situation for which you, it's not enough that you you just have to have some words with you it's not enough that you have some newspapers with you it's not enough if you have just your english language with you it's not enough you need to have a lot of research with us like you need to have uh, a research paper on the topic that you want to go and speak so that you are very affluent you are very conversant with the topic that you have and that that is really a very very important thing that you need to do because preparation is an important process and the end product will always result in how you have prepared for your seminar or debate or you know everything so all the very best to all of you who have joined us today and i'm sure the world stage is waiting for you all and i'm sure we will definitely help you to lead these students and all of you students are have very special skills so try and motivate yourself and see yes i'm going to reach that stage and today we do have a speaker who has reached the world stage and i ask vanita ma'am to introduce the speaker to us today thank you thank you and all the very best hello i am vanita good afternoon everyone i feel immense pleasure to welcome tarika for this debate motivation session for students tarika tarika is an exceptionally talented individual with a multitude of accolades and awards under her belt excelling at both debates and muns muns 
that is model united nations she has participated in world scholars cup even making it to the global round in vietnam where she was lauded for her debating skills with over 8 muns model united nations to her credit a noteworthy mention being harvard mun she was part of the executive board in cv mun 2019 as chair of international press corps she is a member of toastmasters international she she where she has served as secretary and president and has received many best speaker awards she has been assistant secretary of chetinad vidyashram legal symposium winning numerous awards for the school an advocate for women's rights her ambition and enduring person personality are catalysts in her pursuit of the legal profession Her accomplishments have earned her the All Rounder Award in March 2020, and also she has recently started a blogging page called the Elysian Diary to motivate people to speak up and share their stories. Welcome, Tarika, for this wonderful session. Stage is yours. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank, thank you for the lovely introduction. Good evening to one and all. I really thank the management and the organizers for calling me here and giving me this opportunity. to talk about something i really love doing public speaking and debating and it's so nice to see so many of you here and i really hope that you take away something and you learn something at the end of this presentation so without further ado i think we should go um to the presentation i'm just going to share my screen because i've prepared um so public speaking and debating so in front of you are images of very renowned people right we all know who they are um so i'm just going to give a short introduction to everyone in this image so first barack obama the former president of the united states so he has touched millions of hearts with his motivational words around the world and uh, we have malala yousafzai who is an inspiration to all of us at the age of 16 she was shot by the taliban when she fought for female education and after her recovery she went on um, to the un and voiced out for female education because females were being denied education in pakistan so now women in pakistan can proudly say that they are getting educated because of malala yousafzai martin luther king who was a visible spokesperson and a leader for civil rights movements in the, in the usa Uh, Mahatma Gandhi who started off who's a great public speaker who started off as a lawyer and went on to fight for the freedom of our nation um Anwar and your Abdul Kalam who's very close to our hearts Dr APJ Abdul Kalam he used very simple language in his speeches but he managed to inspire the nation and across the globe so he is a scientist he was a scientist politician and so on now oprah winfrey a tv show host an actress and a philanthropist and now she is one of the most influential women in the world now i can just go on naming extremely good public speakers like michelle obama abraham lincoln steve jobs and so on now although these people are from different professions different fields they all have one common quality and that is their extempore public speaking skills all of them have made an impact on this world in their own way and that is through their public speaking so there is power in the voice and they wanted to make a change so they use public speaking as a tool to make the change right so now going on to my next slide so a uh, public speaking and debating most often people get confused between public speaking and debating most of them think both of them are one and the same well it's not they are two different things so i just like to define both very clearly to you so the distinction is clear what is public speaking so public speaking is a presentation given live in front of an audience so it's one person talking about a specific topic to a large gathering so by the word presentation i mean a very structured form of speech so right from introduction 
to uh, the pros and cons of the topic and then the conclusion. So it's, they, they channelize their speech to a specific topic. So what I'm doing right now is public speaking, right? So I am addressing on a particular topic that is public speaking and debating to a large gathering. Now, what is debating? So the most common difference between public speaking and debating is that public speaking is given by one person. So the speaker is just one person addressing a large gathering. But in debating, there are two teams. So it's not an individual event. So it, it is done by teams. And in one team, it's, it, it's more than one person. So it's either two or three or four people. Now in a debate, there are opposing viewpoints. So if I'm, if there is one more person on the opposite side of the screen telling that you know, whatever you're saying is wrong and both of us are arguing, then it's a debate. So both of us are not going to agree on the same point. We're going to have a lot of disagreements and we're never going to agree. So our viewpoints are clashing in a debate. So there will be a specific topic and one team will support the motion, one team will go against the motion. So uh, in that case, uh, both the viewpoints are going to clash. So that is a debate and that is public speaking. So in public speaking, the specific topic is influenced on a person. So there is no um, disagreements or different viewpoints. You just tend to agree on whatever the speaker is saying. Next one. Yeah, skills you will develop from public speaking and debating. So what are the skills? So most, actually the skills you develop from both are pretty common. Your language skills, your researching skills and so on. So how do your language skills improve? You do a lot of research for both, right? So you're given a topic, you're asked to talk on that topic and now you have to do a lot of research on that topic. So like they always say, reading increases your language skills. When you research, obviously you have to read a lot. So that increases your language. When you read, you're going to come across new words, new phrases, and that will increase your vocabulary. Now, uh, good gestures, good diction, good tone is important for both. Now, why is it important? It's only body language. Both of them only involve speaking. Why are they important? Now, it is important because both of them are a mode of communication. It is a means through which you have to engage your audience. So now if you're going to be in a very low tone, talk in a very monotonous tone, your audience is going to sleep. But if you're going to engage them in a way See, I'll tell you something. Your energy, the speaker's energy is what is the audience's energy. Right? So if you're going to be super energetic on stage, you're going to use uh, excellent body language, you're going to keep modulating your voice from high to low, then the audience are going to be connected to you. You're going to engage the audience. So all these are eye catchers for the audience they're going to be very interested in your speech, right? So the only difference between both is that debating requires argumentative skills. Now, what are argumentative skills? So in a debate, like I said, both the teams are never going to agree on the same point. So if I'm saying a point, my opposition team member is going to come and say, no, what you said is wrong. So what is argumentative, argumentative skills? It is that the opposition member should come oh, opposition member should come and say a rebut to what you say. So that is a debate language. Rebuttals is a debate language. So you will have to think on your feet there. How are you going to oppose that point? So you have to address that point and say that no, this is wrong. So that is a good argumentative skills. Okay? And teamwork. You're not going to debate alone. You have to coordinate with your team. And that is important in bringing the structure to debate. So recently I judged a debate and one of those teams, their points were really good. 
But one thing that I found was that there was no, there were three speakers and there was absolutely no coordination between the team. So the first speaker talks about three points. The second speaker talks about the same three points and the third speaker talks about the same three points. So they never really divided the points between themselves. So they just kept repeating the same points over and over and over again. And is that really going to be interesting to the judge to listen? No, it's not going to be. So you have to structure it really well. You have to coordinate between your team members. And that's where even your analytical skills increase. How do I rebut this point? How do I argue back to this person? I need to think of logical arguments, right? So that's where argumentative skills come into play. Now, uh, going to my next slide. How to improve or enhance these skills? So at home, what you can do, the use of dictionary. So you can take the dictionary, write down a new word every day, write down the meaning of it, and use the word in your daily life so that you don't forget. Now, both public speaking and debating require good language skills, require good vocabulary. So how are you going to improve that? The use of dictionary is going to really help. So when you learn a new word, try to use it in your daily life so that you don't forget the word in the future. Okay. And second is newspaper and editorials. So when, again, when you read newspapers, the way they've written things, you'll get the flow of how the uh, writer or the journalist has written things. So your writing skills are going to improve. And again, in, in an editorial, there will be almost 10 new words that you can learn. So write down those 10 new words and write down the meaning. And try to, lear try to learn the meaning and go back to the editorial and see how they've applied this in the context. So now a word can have more than two meanings, right? So some words have more than two meanings. So learn the meaning of this word, go back to the editorial, see how they've used it in that context. So that is going to really help. So newspapers, editorials, again, storybooks, novels, it's going to increase your language and your writing skills. Now with guidance, so um, I sort of like attended most uh, all of these, so I thought I'll just share it with you. So I took up Cambridge exams uh, in school and privately I took up uh, Trinity College of London exams for English communication. So how they helped me become a better speaker, they all played a great, great role. So um, when my mom found out that, you know, speaking and writing was a strength of mine, she wanted to enhance that skill and take me uh, and wanted me to enhance it in a professional way. So she put me in Trinity College of um, London, that academy. And uh, we, every day, uh, every week, we used to have activity classes. And once in a year, the professors, the English professors from Trinity College would come to India and we'd uh, get a certificate after they examine our communication skills. So I just thought I'd share how they really helped me become a better speaker. So the first is uh, when the first level of the examination, we had to um, get, bring a conversation between two non-living objects, two non-living objects. And I came up with the idea, okay, why not I make two plants speak to each other with me giving the voiceover and talk about the process of photosynthesis. So like that, you know, they make you come up with a lot of creative things and that really jogs your mind. So you have to like uh, come up with your own things. You can't copy from the internet. You can't copy from what your peers are doing. So that really helped me become a better speaker. And of course, Toastmasters International, uh, after uh, finishing Trinity College, I, um, the, the level of exams, I moved to Toastmasters International. Toastmasters International is a very renowned um, public speaking club all over the world. So I'll be moving on to details of Toastmasters in the next slide. 
so um, coaching classes in essay writing dramatics etc now there are different forms of communication right speech written media visual non verbal etc etc so some people would be interested or their strength would lie in writing but not in speech some people their strength would lie in speech but not in writing so the entire thing lies in where you, how you identify your strength so once you identify your strength you have to enhance it from there so uh, i just thought i'd give a few tips on that so yeah the next thing is toastmasters international so toastmasters international like i said is a public speaking club and uh, for under 18 age group they have something called the gavel club and for adults that is above 18 they have the toastmasters club so i was a part of the gavel club so they have three segments in toastmasters that one is the prepared speech where a person has to prepare a speech on any topic that he or she likes and can come and should come and present it on the day of the meeting as an evaluator now we uh, students are given the role of an evaluator to judge or to evaluate the prepared speeches so we have to talk about their positives their points to improve and so on and uh, then we have another segment called the impromptu speeches in toastmasters we call it the table topics so impromptu speeches they'll just call you up on stage they will give you a topic you will only have 30 seconds to prepare and you have to talk on it for 1 minute now basically um, i'm not very good at impromptu speeches i'm still working on that uh, so yeah and as a leader i went on um i w- i served as the uh, president and uh, secretary of the gavel club and later on uh, we have a list of speeches to complete and after you finish that they will make you a mentor to little children to prepare them for their speeches so then uh, as a mentor i mentored about 4 to 5 children so i thought that's about those masters international and i share that with you okay now platforms to exhibit these skills so you can join competitions conducted by the toastmasters international so uh, the toastmasters international conducts competitions like um, every 3 months every 4 months so there's something called the international speech contest there's something called the evaluation contest so i'll come to the details of these later but i'm just giving you a brief explanation of what it is and then they have the table topics contest that is the impromptu speeches contest so joining those competitions are extremely good because there will be there will be people all over the world and there be so much to learn from them and the second one is world scholars cup so i will come back to world scholars cup um it's coming in the later slides and indian school debating society i personally haven't uh, joined the isds but it's a great great platform for debaters and the fourth one is model united nations so what is model united nations it is a simulation of what happens in the actual united nations so we are given a so we are delegated countries so if i am an indian it doesn't necessarily mean i'd be um, i'd be assigned the delegate of india so i can be assigned delegate of russia or delegate of usa and there will be an agenda that is a problem a current problem at hand and we all the countries would have to resolve that issue would have to come up with plans would have to come up with strategies to resolve that issue so if so suppose if i am assigned um, the delegate of russia now i have to research what russia is doing to resolve the problem what are their domestic policies what are their foreign policies and i have to completely get into the shoes of a representative of um, russia and uh, go and speak there so model united nations are a great way of in um, enhancing your public speaking skills now in the school debating competitions now uh, this is where i really started my uh, debating career so in the school debating competitions you meet people um, the same age of yours you go from one school to the other and it's really nice because there's a lot you can learn 
from inter-school debating competition. That's a great way to start off, like especially for first timers, it's a great way to start off by going to other schools and debating. Yeah, so I just thought I'd uh, give you a, some, a few preparation tips, like uh, for speech, for evaluation, and then I'll come to debate, okay? So one of the foremost tip here is topic selection and research. Okay, this is extremely important. You need to know who your tar target audience is. So you need to know who are the people who are going to sit in front of you and listen to you. And based on that, you need to select your topic. So uh, in Toastmasters, I've addressed people right from um, 15 years old to 60 years old. So I've always had to choose topics that are common to everybody, are something that everybody would relate to. Right now, if I'm going to talk about something that only teenagers are going to be interested, obviously the, um, the uh, uh, older category are not going to be interested in that, right? So you always need to know who your target audience is. And based on that, you need to research your topic and you need to select your topic. Now, for example, um, something that's common to everybody, like uh, how a moral topic, like um, be happy with what you have, how to be happy with what you have. That is something that everybody should learn about, something that everybody should relate to. So you can choose something like that. So it's very, very important to know who your target audience is. And the second one, um, so Isaac Servanga is a public speaker. I uh, look up to. He's one of the best public speakers in the world. And this is his, my, his, he, he comes up with a lot of strategies for public speaking, but this is my favorite strategy. So it's called the three A's, authenticity, awareness, and audacity. The first one is authenticity. Okay, so what does authenticity mean? It means being yourself, it means being real. Now, believe me or not, guys, audience right people sitting in front of you they have the ability to judge whether you're being real or you're pretending to be someone else they have the ability to really judge whether you are being yourself on stage so it's extremely important to be yourself on stage do not try to be someone else do not try to imitate someone else just be you you cannot engage the audience the way you want them to engage with you if you're not yourself, right? That's something very important. And in his, in his speech, Isaac Savanga, he shared a small story. Uh, I'll, I'll just share that story with you. So it was one of his uh, uh, most important uh, presentations of his life. So he um, was very confused about whether he should use a PowerPoint presentation to do his public speak, public speech or uh, not use a presentation. He was very confused. So he goes to his family and his family uh, consists of 12 members. So six people in his family say, use the presentation. And the rest six says, don't use the presentation. Now it's a tie. So Isaac was already very confused about whether using a PowerPoint or not. And now it was a tie. Again, he was all the more confused. And then he realized he forgot to ask one person. He forgot to ask himself what he'd be most comfortable with. He asked everyone around himself, but he didn't ask himself. What am I going to use to be most comfortable with or to be most confident with on stage? He didn't do that. So finally, when he asked himself, he said, okay, I think I'm going to be comfortable with using a presentation to deliver my speech or to convey my message. So it's very important to be yourself on stage. That's the first point. Second one is awareness. By awareness, I mean situational awareness. So I'm going to connect the first point that is topic selection research to situational awareness because you as public speakers, you have to be very, very flexible. You have to be ready to rock and roll in any situation. You, uh, you don't know 
so there, there can be many situational changes and sometimes it could be in your favor, sometimes it could not be in your favor. Right? So I'll just give an example. So um, I think a few months back, yeah, a few months back, my counselor from Toastmasters had called me and said, Tarika, you need to address a group of teenagers. Mark my words, teenagers. And I said, okay, mom. And she said, you can um, address on any topic you want. And I thought, okay, um, a topic that most teenagers would relate to, mental health and, some t uh, and social stigma around therapy. So because most Indian parents don't get the concept of therapy, making their children go to therapy. So I thought, okay, let me address this topic because most of us would relate to that. And I prepared, I was well researched for that topic. I knew how exactly I was going to present, etc. Now I go there and there are a bunch of kids that there are, there are first graders, second graders and third graders. I was shocked and I was very nervous because how am I going to make first graders, second graders and third graders understand about mental health? Because if I'm going to talk about the, um, the speech I prepared, they're going to sleep. They're going to sleep in the audience for sure. So I thought, okay, how do I make this interesting for kids? So I had to go from scratch about emotions, about how they feel, in what situations should they feel this. And I used a bunch of stories to change it and to make it interesting for them. So as public speakers, you need to be ready to change anything at any point of time. Right? Because uh, like I said, topic selection and research if you're going to talk about something, the audience are not going to be interested. They are either going to leave the room or they're going to sleep. You cannot engage the audience with you. You cannot connect to the audience. Now, the third point is audacity. Now, Isaac Servanga says, um, a public speaker should be extremely bold and confident on stage. Now, even if you're nervous inside, keep all of that to yourself but show the audience that you are bold, that you are confident, okay? And he says, one method to do this is to tell a story. So tell a story to the audience. And why story? Because stories are powerful. They are examples to make whatever point you're saying stronger. All the stories are powerful. All the stories are empowering. Okay. So then later on, he says, um, one of my favorite quote of um, Isaac Silvangas is, he says, never make a point without telling a story and never tell a story without making a point. So he says, whatever point you're going to say, you have to tell a story along with it. And why story again? Because it's easy to remember. Stories are very easy to remember, right? You just have to pictureize whatever is going to happen in the story. And it's easy to tell. So telling a story is not only going to make your speech stronger, but it's going to make you look extremely strong on stage, extremely confident on stage. Now, the third point is watch YouTube videos. So the way I learned how... I should use my body language, how to use my gestures, and how to modulate my voice, and in what, when, what message I'm conveying, what voice should I use. So all that, I owe it to YouTube videos. So you should watch a lot of these public speakers, like TEDx talks, and learn from how exactly they are um, they are talking. So I'm not saying imitate them, but I'm trying to say take inputs from them, learn from them, right? That, that's very important. So right now, uh, like we can't go to classes in person. I think YouTube videos are a great way to learn public speaking from right now. Now the fourth point is not exactly a tip, but it's something all of us should mandatorily remember in our minds when uh, we join public speaking or debating. Every day is a learning process. 
so especially for debates winning or losing it doesn't matter the knowledge you gain matters so whenever be it a public speaking speech or a debate speech you're going to get a topic at hand and you're going to research that topic really well so imagine there are going to be numerous topics that you're going to deal with you're going to research every single topic so imagine the knowledge you're going to gain that is what matters and for first timers let me tell you something when you go for outside competitions or when you go to present yourself on stage there will be people there will be people your age who are very well experienced and who are going to throw incredible points but you should not get intimidated or scared by them that should not let you down if you really want to improve yourself in public speaking or debating you should only remember that your personal growth is important what you gain from that competition is important forget about people around you it's okay if you mess up the first time but what you learn from that is important doesn't matter if you lose doesn't matter if you go up on stage you forget your speech it doesn't matter you learn from that experience okay so um yeah so that's about my speech preparation tips yeah next is evaluation so what is evaluation you tell a person you listen to a person's speech and um you talk about what are the positives of his speech and what are the points he needs to improve on so in toastmasters we as uh, students we are asked to evaluate other speeches and we have an evaluation contest by itself so um i personally came up with a sandwich method okay for the evaluation and i just thought i'd share it with you so when we eat a sandwich the we have bread on on the two layers right so the bread we use for a sandwich is always sweet bread so first you start off with the positives of the person's speech so you say you had an excellent opening your content was great you were well researched so you say sweet things about the speech you say positive things about the speech next the sandwich the filling is a little spicy part of the sandwich right so now you don't use the word negative or this was the bad point of your speech you cannot use such words like negative or bad because that is going to discourage the speaker so much so a better phrase is points to improve for your future speeches so that your future speeches are better so points to improve what are the points to improve you could have used a story in this case you could have used an example in this case so on so uh, points to improve for bettering the future speeches so that's all you can come up with any points you think that the person uh, needs to know for her for his or her speeches to be better in the future now again you end the evaluation with positives so you have positives points to improve and now you're ending it with positives so what do you say in the end your conclusion was great your grammar your vocabulary was great your transitions from one topic to the other was great right so do you get it so positives points to improve and positives so that's about evaluation now coming to world scholars cup now in world scholars cup we have four events it's a competition which has four events and it will first happen in uh, in a regional round in your city if you qualify in that round you will go to the global round and uh, the wsc will choose two to three places for the global round every year you can choose which place you want to go if you qualify in the global round you get to go to the yale university in new york right so i let me explain briefly what these are now debate debate we all know so it has to be team of 3 and uh, we go against each other and the second one is collaborative writing now what is collaborative writing so basically this is debate in a written form debate in a written form so 
we would be given a topic half an hour before and we uh, we should go either for or against the topic we should go either for or against the topic but we need to write it down so it's basically debate but you choose one side of the motion and you write your arguments so they would see how well your writing skills are and how um, how beautifully you um, how beautiful your arguments are and how structured you written them right so that's about debate and collaborative writing now the third one scholars challenge and the fourth one scholars bold so the wsc every year has six subjects okay six subjects that you need to learn prior to the competition and every year they will release a theme every year they will release a theme and their six subjects will be based on that theme okay but it's really fun guys don't get discouraged because i say you have to learn six subjects it's really fun they would give us a movie they would give us a song and we'd be asked questions based on the movie based on the song so the scholars challenge uh, i think all of us have taken olympiad at some point of our lives right so scholars challenge is something like that we'll be given a booklet full of questions and uh, it has all the six subjects in it and you'll have uh, you'll have uh, a b c d e uh, in in a marking sheet and you'll have to mark the answers for each question scholars bowl scholars bowl all the participants will be seated in the same room and you will be given something called a clicker a remote sort of a clicker and you have option a option b option c option d option e in the clicker and there will be a screen in front of you so they will uh, display the questions in the screen and you will hardly be given 5 to 10 seconds to answer the question and uh, within that 5 to 10 qu questions uh, sorry within that 5 to 10 uh, seconds you will have to um, choose the right option from the clicker so uh, that's about world scholars cup so uh, debate coming to debate like i told you two sides affirmative negative affirmative supports the motion negative opposes the motion coming to some few debate strategies that i thought i could share with you today okay so i have divided this into three uh, three speakers okay so uh, because most of the debates have only three speakers so i thought i'll tell you what the first speaker of the affirmative should talk first speaker of the negative should talk and so on so first speaker of the affirmative now something that's common between affirmative and negative uh, for the first speaker is that the inter interruption should be very very strong so they have to start with a bang they have to start with something is really strong when they are starting and the introduction should be very strong now first speaker of the affirmative should define the motion now for example i'm just going to give you a very um, simple debate motion for an example should alcohol be banned now the first speaker of the affirmative should define the motion should alcohol be banned you have to define what that means okay so that's how you start your speech with and then the third one is you clearly set your team's interpretation of the topic so uh, the second point and the third point are sort of related to each other because um, when you are defining the motion right usually what uh, good debaters do is that they sort of pull the definition favorable to their side right so they define the motion in such a way that it favors their side of the motion their side of the house so you need to set your team's interpretation what you want and how you're going to define the motion that's how you should start your speech okay fourth the extremely important outline the team split now this structure of the speech is very important because as a first speaker you have to tell what you're going to be dealing with what are the points you're going to be dealing with what are the points your core speaker will be dealing with uh, that is your second speaker and what point will your third speaker be dealing with okay so for example should alcohol be banned you say yes 
So you can say first speaker is going to be dealing uh, with car accidents because of uh, alcohol intake. My second speaker will be dealing with uh, domestic violence or child abuse because of alcohol intake. And my third speaker will summarize whatever the both of us said. So you just have to outline. Now the speakers will elaborate on whatever you're going to say. But as a first speaker, you just have to outline what your team is going to cover. Okay. And fifth one, you have to provide two to three arguments for the motion. Like I said, you have to elaborate. So the first speaker, you need to come up with two to three arguments elaborating. So you have to elaborate on those two to three arguments supporting the motion. Now coming to the first speaker of the negative team. Firstly, he or she needs to resolve any definitional issues. Now, what do you mean by this? So if the first speaker of the negative team feels that, okay, what my opposite, what, the way my opposition team member had defined the motion is wrong. I'd like to redefine the motion. Again, what you're trying to do is pull the de definition to your side. And that is okay. If you're, you can define the motion, you can redefine the motion of that is fine. So the first speaker of the negative um, team should resolve any definitional issues. If you think that the opposition um, team has not defined it in a proper way, you can go ahead and define it again, okay? Again, third one, outline the team split. What you're going to talk about, what your second speaker is going to talk about, what your third speaker is going to talk about. Now, fourth one is rebut the argument. Now, rebut means you will have to talk against what the opposition member has talked about. So now uh, it's a uh, debates usually happen in a zigzag manner. So first affirmative, first negative, um, second affirmative, second negative, third affirmative, third negative. Okay, it usually happens that way. But sometimes there are debates in which um, the affirmative speakers all the three speakers talk at once, and then all the three speakers of the negative talk at once. So um, the first speaker of the negative should rebut, should talk against what the first speaker of the affirmative has told. So you need to point out that specific point of what the first speaker has told and say, no, this is wrong. And you have to say why it is wrong. Because in a debate, you are trying to prove that you are right and the other side is wrong. Okay, so that's about rebutting the argument. And fifth point, provide two to three arguments. So uh, not only rebutting, but also you have to provide two to three arguments that's favorable for your side of the house. Now, moving on to the second speaker. Now the second speaker plays a major role because he or she is the information provider of the debate. Okay, so the second speaker of the debate has to produce um, evidences, case studies, examples, supporting or negating the motion. Okay, so uh, they have to give as much information as possible regarding the topic. Okay, so second speaker of the affirmative side has to rebut the arguments of the first um, negative speaker. I'm sorry, there's a mistake here. So uh, rebut the arguments of the First, negative speaker. So what the negative speaker said first, the second speaker of the affirmative has to rebut. Say that you pointed out this, but we are saying this is wrong. And you have to say why it is wrong. And second speaker plays a major role in this because you have to provide examples for it. And examples, evidences, case studies are only going to enhance and uh, make your speech stronger. Now, what I would recommend is that a lot of these people, um, a lot of debaters use hypothetical examples to pull, uh, pull it to their favor. But what good debaters do is they take real life examples and they twist it to their favor. So hypothetical examples, I mean, anyone can frame and pull it to their favor, but it all lies when, because even the credib credibility is higher for real life examples. Now, second speaker of the affirmative has to provide two to three arguments. You have to elaborate on what you're going to talk. And second speaker of the negative has to rebut what the opposite side said. 
and again provide two to three arguments and like i said evidences uh, case studies examples are extremely important so now going on to the last third speaker now points are similar for affirmative and negative so as a third speaker it is generally not advisable to bring in new points because then uh, it would be like you know poor planning between the teams i mean if you have a lot of points in mind and you want to put them forth then it is okay you can bring in one or two points at the end but uh, according to me it's not advisable to bring in new points as a third speaker as a third speaker what should you do as a third speaker you have to summarize all the rebuttals you have to summarize all the arguments okay so you have to give a brief summary to the judge about what your team believes in okay and also rebut what the other team has said so it is it is just common to both the teams now what are the qualities you will acquire from public speaking and debating okay so now most of these qualities are sort of like interrelated to each other and uh, first is confidence so you will gain a lot of confidence after getting into public speaking and debating why is that so when you read when you research your knowledge is improving right so you have knowledge on various fields and uh, various topics and that gives you confidence to face the world that gives you confidence to interact with many people that gives you the confidence to be in many social circles right so in that way it really improves your confidence and so overcoming the fears and insecurities of public speaking can be very empowering because uh, a lot of people think uh, public speaking is a scary thing to do um, a lot of thing uh, a lot of people think you know standing in a, on a stage and addressing a large gathering is scary but it is not once you overcome it you will love doing it why because you you can make an impact on people's lives you can motivate them so throughout history the fir very first slide i showed you throughout history world leaders and many people have used public speaking as a tool to implement change to motivate change among people right so you can persuade people with the knowledge you gain and that will give you confidence and self esteem boost self esteem boost so now public speaking is a very common phobia Right, it's right up there with anything like uh, any common things you fear about. So when you overcome that, it's going to be hard to overcome that. I'm not saying no. When I started as a first timer, I was extremely scared to even talk in front of two people, to address something in front of two people. But once you overcome that speech anxiety, it could be very empowering to yourself. So, uh. you just have to overcome that insecurities and that anxiety you have right so uh yeah and so um, that's about it so you have good researching skills you'll have great self esteem boost and your confidence will increase your knowledge will increase so these points are all sort of interconnected to each other so once one starts increasing it would lead to the other it would lead to the next and so on so uh, i think with that i am ending my presentation and i am opening it to questions and comments thank you tarika that was really an eye opener even for people like us who have not debated much i think teachers don't debate <laughs> so it's nice to have you and it was a very inspiring speech and i think like vanita ma'am you can just keep it open to the audience they can raise their hands if they have some questions for tarika and uh, audience please have your audio i mean video on and if you want just raise your hands and we can unmute
Yeah, I think there is Lokesh. Lokesh. Um, Vanita, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, I'm unmute? doing, ma'am. Lo Lokesh. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Lokesh, you can post your questions. You are unmuted. Can you just uh, repeat the tips again? I didn't understand. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not even hearing you. Which one? Which one? Tips. Uh, do you want um, speech tips or debate tips? Debate tips. Okay. <laughs> so I think it's going to, uh, there are three yeah. uh, Lokesh, shall we just pass the presentation to you? If you want uh, the tips, we will, we will be sending this presentation to all the participants. You can go through it again. And then maybe if you have doubts, you can, you can write your first. What, what, any specific question that you have? Anything very specific, Lokesh? No, ma'am, this is debate tips. Debate tips, okay. So what we will do is... I'll just make it very short for you, okay? So, uh, debate you will have a topic in hand and you have to research that topic really well. Okay, so you have to learn forwards and backwards about that topic and you have to present it there. So, you will have to confidently present it there. You have to structure your speech really well. Okay, like I said, first you have to start with introduction, with defining the topic and then saying examples for that topic. Why you think that alcohol should be banned? You have to give examples. Like even yesterday I was reading a report that said there are 11,000 accidents that happen every year because of rash driving, because drivers, are, um, uh, the drivers have alcohol intake. Okay, so that you should use statistics like that to support your argument okay okay so with the is, side of house you are sorry yeah. sorry sorry there is shriya kartik do you want to i think shriya kartik wants adi rai adi rai from bbc teni um adi rai can you unmute adi rai avanita ma'am Ma'am, if they raise their hands, we can do it, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, uh, just use your, uh, I mean, um, what is it called? Reactions. Use your reactions, please. Just use, see, I'm using it. Just um, use your reactions and um, teacher will be able to do it. Either maybe thumbs up or anything. Just use your reactions like I'm using now. Can you see that? Just raise your hand. Yes, there is Adirai. She is. Uh... Yes, Adirai, your. Uh, no. She's muted again. Vanita, ma'am. Uh, Adirai, Adirai, you can unmute yourself. Yes, Adirai? Hello, ma'am. Yes. Yeah, hello. Yes. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Ma'am, uh, what I would like to ask her is what sparked her interest in this field, ma'am? How it all started, ma'am? Yeah. Okay, uh, great question. So, what um, sparked this interest in me? So, you know, I was just talking to my mom a few days ago. And usually parents remember what you do as a child more than you remember what you did, right? So my mom was telling me that I used to ask her, I joined school at like a one year, nine months old. And later uh, I used to ask her ridiculous questions, like very weird questions. And I put her in a place where she can't answer those questions. I put her in a very difficult place. And so I, I was always called the talkative girl of the family and I'm still called the talkative girl of the family. In Tamil they say, Nida Vayadi. So that's what they always say. And uh, later, at the age of five, she asked me to talk something about water. She said, uh, water and you have to, she said, this is your topic, water, and you talk whatever you want about it. So then I started talking about a lot of things like, you know, oceans, rivers, uh, keeping people hydrated and how water is going to help with cleaning dishes and everything. And she had to stop me talking. Like I just went on talking and she had to like stop me talking. And that's when she knew that I had the flair for like talking, writing and all that. And that's when she wanted to channelize this uh, 
strength, you know, in a very professional way and wanted to enhance this. So that's what, so it wasn't really a spark, but it was something um, that I really loved doing since the beginning. So yeah. Yeah, I I would That's like it. to just add. Uh, I would like to just add to this, uh, Tarika. I, I mean, I know Tarika from childhood, and uh, what she used to do, like if you give her a story like Cinderella, you know, I mean, when she was three, four years, like she used to not tell the correct story. She will just add her own uh, sentences, and she will change the entire story and I give us a different I story. <laughs> So she will give us a different story altogether. So that was also inherent in her. It was all an innate talent. Thank you, Adirai. And anyone else who would Dakshin like... Dakshin Lakshman, ma'am. He has raised yeah. his hands, ma'am. Yes. Dakshin Lakshman. You can Thanks unmute yourself. Thank you for giving this opportunity, ma'am. So my question is that when there are, when there are plenty of fallacies in debating, how would you... You know, how would you avoid those fallacies? Because I fell into a lot of fallacies while debating. True. Uh, I, I totally agree with your point. Like, you know, a lot of debates, I've, you know, I've made errors, like, you know, using fallacies in debates. So, one thing that you have to do is be very, very well researched. Okay? So, it's that Whatever you say, you should make the judge believe that whatever you're saying is right. So, uh, besides the research about the fallacies like Adominum, those terms. Ha, huh. so, uh, one second. Okay, so you mean like um, wrong constructed. Yeah, the 15 uh, fallacies of debating. Yeah, yeah okay. Okay, so I think it's, again, it, it boils down to the fact that you do good research and you uh, make your reasonings very pertinent to the topic, right? You don't go out of the topic or you don't, and one more thing is when you have to compare two things, right? That's when most of like uh, the wrong reasoning comes in place. So when you're trying to compare two things, try to make it very pertinent to the topic. Okay. I also have another question to ask you. So, yeah. I was trained uh, for debate by another ma'am. So, what she taught me was that you should not pinpoint your opposition members' uh, mistake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. how do you point out that they are wrong? Because if they have said something wrong or if they have given some false information, so I can't tell that openly, right? right? So, how do I prove them wrong? This is a great question. See, now you cannot attack your opposition member personally. Okay? You can't, you have to be very, very diplomatic in a debate. You have to say, my first, um, the first speaker of the opposition team had stated so and so. And you have to say that we would like to oppose this because, again, like I told, give your example to say why what that person said was wrong. So probably what your teacher meant was don't attack the person personally. Okay. You can't call the opposition member names or anything. You have, it's a formal discussion. Debate as such is a very formal discussion, right? So you have to be very respectable and behave in a dignified manner throughout the debate. And you have to point out in a very formal way about what the opposition member said. Because in a debate, see, otherwise a debate won't, a debate is not a debate if you don't point out that the other person is wrong, right? You're yeah. never going to agree on the same point. Your viewpoints are going to clash. You are going to disagree. I think there are many more questions. Yeah. Let uh, us there go to Sachita, ma'am. Yeah. Sachita. Many, many are waiting, yes. I Man, hope I answered your Sachita. question. Yeah, Sachita can unmute. I'm Sam. a Sachita. How was your experience in your first stage of debate, ma'am? My experience, oh, you know, firstly, you don't have to call me ma'am. I'm just 17 years old. You can just call me Tarika to all of you. Um, so, when I first debated, 
it was scary it was uh see everything will not come in the first time itself right so it all goes on with experience like i didn't know how to uh, research well i didn't know how to structure my speech well i didn't know where to put this example so all that analytical skills will improve only after you have experiences now it's not that it's it's inculcated in some people so it's it's that some people get it in the beginning itself but i was in one of those people so i was shaking so when i went for my first debate i was extremely nervous it like my school they started with classroom debate itself so even in those classroom debates i was scared to voice out my opinion with your mom mom yes yes i cannot understand sandwich method mom how sweet <laughs> okay you can <laughs> This no, that only when you become really, you know, I mean, when you want to evaluate a debate, when you become really, uh, I mean, when you grow in status and you want to evaluate, which means you're going to be a judge. So then we will help you to do that. Okay, is that okay? Or you want Tarika to say that? Okay, Tarika, you have something to tell him. Yeah, see, it's not that you have to become experienced as such to evaluate. It comes as a process. So in Toastmasters, what they do is even a person who's um, done only one speech, even he or she is allowed to judge another speech, to evaluate another speech. So they develop your skills simultaneously, right? Oh. So if you know, evaluate a speech, so basically what my sandwich method is about. So when you eat a sandwich, uh, the filling is spicy, right? So the two layers of the bread, it is sweet. It's sweet bread, right? We use sweet bread to make a sandwich. So first, it it's the positives that you need to talk about the speech. So you say your opening was great, your grammar, your vocabulary, your content was great, you were well researched. You say all the sweet things about the speech. Now, coming to you should never ever use negative points. Um, you should never use the word negative or bad in a speech. you always have to tell the speaker that you know these are certain points that you need to improve to better your future speeches so you just you can say that you know you could have used this example there you could have used you could have used that story there and that would have made your speech better and again you have to come back to the positives you have to end your evaluation with positives so you have to say your conclusion was great your uh, transitions were great so you have to start with positives and then in the middle you just have to add few points about uh, how the person could have uh, improved on certain parts and again add positives so do you understand now yes purnima purnima yes yes hi ma'am my name is purnima ma'am ma'am uh, i have uh, hi ma'am ma'am i have a doubt that how we get how they get that courage who speaks on the public speeches and all like which from where that courage will come ma'am we See, uh, <laughs> like i told you purnima it is hard to take the first step okay now yesterday i was reading a book and i read this beautiful quote with the problem is with human a problem with humans is not ignorance but inaction so what they're trying to say is we know that we want to go on a stage and talk we know that our goal is to address the gathering we know that we want to do a debate but we are not we are not ready to take the first step it's inaction right we're not ready to take the first step so that is it now once you take the first step once you come out of your comfort zone once you break the ice it is going to be you know that's what you got to do okay so it is going to be great once you come out of your comfort zone once you burst the bubble you are in so it it just needs that lit, that one step that first step once you take it after it is going to be great ma'am when um, today we are doing debate ma'am the i think there is kannan who is waiting uh, vanita ma'am uh, who is the next viraj velan ma'am viraj velan okay Are you uh, unmuted, Viraj? Yes, ma'am. I have uh, unmuted, ma'am. Viraj Velan from BBC ah. Tani. Yeah, please. Yes, ma'am. How could you overcome the fear when you get into the stage, ma'am? You got to really work hard. Hard work. 
it lot of hard work i have seen tarika getting ready for uh, her uh, what to say uh, her debating sessions she will have bundles of papers with her i said you're going to go and speak few lines and why do you want bundles of papers but she'll say no no this is what we have to do so tarika your i think tarika you give some opportunity maybe your answers can be a little bit of a single line so that many yes, so many kids question, are right. that how did i overcome the fear how do we overcome yes, the fear yes 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 okay wants, yeah so uh, what's your name Siraj Velan. Siraj Velan. Okay. Uh, are you really passionate about debating? Are you really passionate about public speaking? Do you want to do it in the future? Yes, ma'am. Uh, so, when you're passionate about something, no matter what stops you, you'll do it, right? Oh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes. That that is the spark that you need. It's nothing else. It's the drive that's in you. it's only the okay. passion that that drives you right so whatever it is you have to work hard like i told before the first step is really hard taking the first step is really very hard but once you take it once you're in the flow it's going to be great so for that first step we need to put in a little bit effort it is going to be hard addressing a large gathering but you can do it why because you want to pursue public speaking because you want to do debating it's your passion it's the drive that's in you okay so you okay. can't have a better spark better spark than self motivation vanisha uh, vanita ma'am yes, kanan kanan is waiting for a long time but he doesn't know to raise his hands with his uh, reactions i think let me Kannan, check ma'am Ma'am, now Monisha is ready, ma'am. I'll. Ma'am, uh, okay. Janathan, ma'am. Janathan. Okay. Yes, Janathan, please go ahead. Shoot your question. Good evening, ma'am. If we are in the position of debating against a topic, which is mm -hmm. impossible to create a negative talk, that is cons on it. It may be sometimes too difficult to debate against such topic. During that mm -hmm. situation, how can we handle it, ma'am? Okay. see mostly debate topics will be some uh, that that are given to you will be something that you can talk for and something that you can talk against okay now what you have to do is you have to find loopholes in the debate now you have to find loopholes in the motion where can the opposition member go wrong where can that team go wrong take that point and you have to use it for your point Okay. Okay. Now, for example, mm -hmm. I uh, I did a debate recently. Okay, it was uh, an inter-school debate, and I was given a topic. It was two countries' uh, conflict, and uh, they wanted a, a two-state solution. And the United Nations supported that two-state solution. And I was against the motion. I was saying we want a one-state solution. So obviously, we were uh, the other team had the upper hand. Right. So what we did Jesus. is we had to come up with our own solutions. We had to come up with how else the conflict can be resolved. So you have to you jog your memory and you have to think analytically as to how you can come up with solutions, your own strategies, your own creativity you can use. But it should be realistic because in a debate, ultimately both the teams should come and give a realistic solution. Okay, ma'am. Another question, ma'am. Yeah. Can you tell some special tips to be a best speaker in the debate? As I got two awards, best debater in the Velamal Interschool Debate Competition last year, ma'am. Firstly, congratulations. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Congratulations, Janathan. Thank All you, ma'am. Very best. Yeah, Tarika, go ahead. Yeah. Uh. So, like I said, uh, Janathan. you now that you want to awards it shouldn't stop you from continuing this right so it it you should only be motivated to do more and more and when you do that you have to work really hard yes ma'am yes ma'am the students should be learning yeah ma'am mudichu adiye balance debating we have to balance other extracurricular activities as well as right so we have to put in equal amount of hard work for debates 
right? So when once okay, let research everything be aside. When you're presenting, you have to be very confident. You have to prove it to the judge. In you, sh- but but at the same time, you shouldn't be rude. You shouldn't be rude to the opposing team. So you should prove it to the judge that you are right, and the other team is wrong. Hello. Okay. So okay, ma'am. you should be very your like Hello. I told you. Take down the debating tips. I told you. Yes. Ma'am. I Did do, you ma'am. take down? The- Yeah, so your speech should be very structured. Okay, so like that will help you become a better speaker. Your analytical reasoning. You have to think how can I twist facts to make it to my favor. Okay, ma'am. Next, Kanan is ready. Thank you, ma'am. Kanan, 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 are you there? Have you unmuted yourself, Kanan? I think uh, I have yeah. unmuted him, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. I think now you can speak, Kanan. Kanan, are you able to hear us, Kanan? Um, he's not in the line, ma'am. Yeah, Next, let can... us call Monisha, ma'am. Monisha. Monisha, yes, Monisha. Monisha, you can ask your question. Ma'am, I'm GP sir, ma'am. I yes, have another ma'am. meeting. Yes, yeah, yeah. Arika is excellent. Uh, uh, really, it's an excellent explanation about the debate. How to be Thank a good debater? Really you, good. In Tamil, they say, "Puli, puli, ki puli, kuti na par kona kuti par kya hai?" Puli ki par kya hai? Only Rama. How good she is in uh, English and same me. Uh, I, I, I Thank you so much. 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 He was. I'm thanking you so much, uh, GP sir, for your presence, and it was really motivational. You no, know, that you were good, ma'am. We need we need definitely with the experts like Tarika and others. Thank we you, sir. We can bring our goodness for our children, ma'am, our uh, Bodhi campus. Thank Next you, year, sir. Here we should fly very high, ma'am. We need to crack so many good competition which coming up, uh, online competition or offline. We need to win. We need continuous support. Tarika, thanks for your time. Thank you, sir. 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 and my question is uh, you say we have to rebut the opponent hmm. uh, at one situation by some mistake uh, i know that a good debater will always take notes of the where the hmm. opponent is making a mistake but at once you did you did not uh, recognize a, sing, a one a single uh, mistake the opponent made and you are the third speaker the second speaker did not rebut anything so everything is left up to you How would you handle the situa- situation? You have to rebut that uh, particular mistake, but how will you will you handle the situation? Will you widely call that, or you would uh, ask the opponent no, to repeat it again? No, no, no. See, you can't ask the opponent to repeat it again. That's not possible. Okay, but in a few debates, like um. after the speaker finishes they will give you 1 minute to uh, ask if the opponent team has to clarify anything so in that time you can clarify if they have anything okay so most of the debates are like that they will give one minute in the beginning uh, i mean after your speech and they will ask if there is anything the opposition team has to clarify so that one minute you can use okay you can use now if that one minute is not given what can you do i'd say don't pick on that mistake don't pick on that point because if you have half heard it and you say something the judge is not going to consider your point at all okay because when you are taking down a rebuttal you have to completely listen to what the opposition member is saying okay so you can't say anything that that is half heard and say okay what this person has said is wrong no please don't do that talk about the other rebuttals you've had or elaborate on your own points or just give a brief conclusion right don't when you're confident about something go and talk about it 
when you're not confident just leave it especially in a debate because the judge is definitely going to think she half heard it or she probably didn't even hear what the opposition member is saying and why is she picking on that point and they say just for the sake of rebutting don't rebut unless you have a clear point in mind to rebut then you can rebut okay did i answer your question sancha yes ma'am yes tarika next uh, gokula krishnan sai yeah hi gokul gokula krishnan sai hi ma'am hi ma'am hi please guys don't call me ma'am i'm just 17 years old just call me tarika <laughs> Is that uh, I have to doubt, ma'am? I'm not able to hear you. The now. first doubt is uh, I have two doubts, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. The first one is uh, you uh, tell the uh, public speaking for that one. Tell your experience, ma'am. Uh, I'm so sorry, but you weren't audible at all, Gokul. If someone who heard the question, ma'am, yeah. yeah, he's he's asking for your experience. Okay, just experience. In grade one, you in yeah. grade one, uh, you public speaking for grade one. Uh, how did you feel, ma'am? For grade one, sir. Okay, so uh, like. for the first few years right like once my mom identified the strength and uh, after that like for a few years i never had any professional help okay so i used just at home my mom taught me uh, my mo- mom and i used to read story books and she used to tell me the any new word so i used to learn the meaning and all of that so grade 1 as such um, i wasn't really active in talking so like i said at home i used to talk a lot but when i went when it came to presenting in front of my own classmates i was pretty nervous about you know voicing out my own opinions or voicing out my own insights so it was hard but as after a point when my mom uh, put me in uh, the trinity college and clubs like this that's when i slowly started overcoming the fear ஒன்ஷினி yeah go ahead mama i need some tips for uh, so i have seen that someone suffered of uh, audience when they went on to the stage so you your can can you give tips you not all can someone repeat his question you no it was not audible tarika shall we yeah, go with the next one shall we go with the next one reshmi yeah, yeah, sure. reshmi reshmi are you there yes ma'am and reshmi my question is if we are the negative side uh, hmm. if r and Answer is also same like affirmative. If we think the same answer, which affirmative uh, told in that time, what can we debate there, ma'am? Um. Uh, see, Rishmi, in a debate, uh, both the teams can never agree on the same point. Okay, that's why it's called a debate. So one team will support the motion. one team will go against the motion like i give you the example of should alcohol be banned now one team is going to say yes alcohol should be banned now the other team is going to say no alcohol cannot be banned right and now in this circumstance how are you going to agree on the same points in a debate you can never agree on the same point you will always have to uh, 
disagree with what the other person is saying so like i said in a debate you have to prove that you are right and the other person is wrong okay so in a debate there is no chance you can agree on the same point so yeah okay thank you ma'am next to karshit karshit are you there hello ma'am yes hello. you can proceed ma'am would you encourage mugging up on speaking on topic or speaking in a own informative way hi um absolutely not absolutely no mugging up no mugging up at all because uh, are you talking about public speaking or debating public speaking oh it then then is definitely not because see you are one speaker addressing a large gathering right now if you're okay. going to just come up and prepare the entire speech and go to a large gathering are they going to be interested in your speech are they because when you mug up most often what we do is our tone is monotonous we just go blab for the entire speech and come back ma'am i'm the co-host rakitka ma'am you have to make an impact on the people so okay. mugging up will not help in that way so you can just jot down points in your mind like you can put a mind map like this is what i'm going to talk first this is what i'm going to talk second this is what i'm going to talk third and this is how i'm going to end my speech wait yes ma'am so if you put okay. a mind map like that like i said waste not forget your uh, waste not forget your speech you add in more stories stories are easy to remember right you just pictureize your stories mm. it's easy to tell right yes, so ever mug up your speech and go it's not going to work why i'll tell you one more reason you all have anxiety before delivering the speech what if i forget this line what if i forget this word what if i forget my speech mm. so you'll have that kind of anxiety if you're going to mug up your speech but if you're going to say okay this is the point i'm going to talk about this is the point i'm talk about even when you go on stage and you forget something you will come up with something related to that point yes ma'am Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. I hope I answered you, your question. Thank you, ma'am. I think uh, Kanan is there. Are you ready, Kanan? Everybody, Kanan. Kanan, I am. Hello, hello. I am glad to be here. Kanan, do you want to ask something? Yeah, you are unmuted. Why don't you speak? Yes. Are you ready to say something? No. <coughs> There is some problem. I cannot hear you. Yeah, you can hear now. Mm, no. He says that we he cannot hear us. No problem. Da, go to the next person. And, uh, maybe. Um... Darshana, are you there? Darshana, Avantika wants to speak. Avantika has raised her hand. Darshana, Darshana, kindly unmute yourself, ma. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes, you can ask a question. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, how do you understand this year when I started speaking the first time, ma'am? No, can't I'm hear you. So properly. sorry, but I can't hear you at all. There's a problem. I think your audio has a problem. Hello. Yeah, Darshna, your voice is not clear at all. Your audio isn't clear. No, uh, no. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. How to overcome this fear when we start to speak in the first time? Okay. There's something uh, wrong with your audio. So, so I answered the question. So she is asking how to overcome the fear when we talk for the first time. Oh, okay. So I think I yeah, Dashna, I think I've done yeah. this over a couple of times, and it's just see, Hello? if you like public speaking, if you like debating, nothing will stop you from pursuing it. Okay. So there's no other spark than your own passion, your own drive for that. So. 
overcoming the fear yes it is going to be hard in the beginning talking in front of people is going to be very hard but once you break that ice see for anything for the first time that you're doing you have to come out of your comfort zone so you can't sit in a place and say i want to do public speaking but not take the first step you have to come out of your comfort zone the first step will be hard but once you take the first step your journey is going to be incredible okay rashna Okay. Next, Tarangini is waiting, ma'am. Tarangini. Tarangini of twelfth standard. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. ma'am. Yeah. Good Thank evening. There is some poor connectivity. In. Yes. Good evening, Miss yeah. Tarika. Like what is the ma'am? Can I speak, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Yeah, this is starting in from VBC Madurai, ma'am. Like, uh, I would like to ask a question. Like, where to find information for uh, your debate, ma'am? Like, which do you consider as best best source? Like, whether it is a newspaper or net or whatever. See, uh, one common mistake that people do in debates, uh, is that they take information from Wikipedia. Okay, you should never take information from Wikipedia. Why? Because Wikipedia is a page where people can go and uh, edit it. Like I can go to Wikipedia and edit the information in Wikipedia. So you should never ever take information from Wikipedia. Okay, that's the first and foremost important point. You can uh, so it all. You can just take information from uh, uh, renowned or reputable news organization. Okay, so if it is a current uh, problem that's going on, then you can take it from, uh, like you have, for example, the Reuters um, and so on. So you can, like the BBC News, they have websites, right? You can go and take credible information from there. Now, suppose if you debate know, the moral topic, something yeah. that involves a lot and of opinions, again, it could be a subjective topic because you are going to deal with it. Uh, with your opinion in it, but you can try um, websites okay. like or uh, there are a lot of people's opinions there. Right, so you can just read and gain insights into yeah, topics. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. We want. Yeah. Then. Thank you, Mr. Tarik. If you want, if try to explain, we I'll I will just share some resources with the students and find them. Hmm. Six o'clock. We find them. Next, Avantika. Avantika, Avantika, you can ask your question. I, I think Avantika, Tarika sister. Hi. Hello. Uh, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? Uh, I'm also fine. I had a question that you are. You had told that you should not mug up some topics. Uh, mm. If you're not mug upping. Uh, we are usually speaking uh, in our own words. We had made some mistake in some sentence. How could mm. you correct that uh, sentence in on the spot? Okay. Um. So now, if you think mugging up is going to solve the problem of not making mistakes on stage, then you are wrong. Because when you mug up a lot of stuff, you are going to make mistakes. Let's say you. Forget a word. You forget a sentence. Your brain at that time won't work to think of something new to put in there. Okay, but if you're going to uh, um, just mind map, jot down points, and talk in your own words, even when you forget something there, something related to the topic you'll bring up, and it's okay if you say something wrong. You can just say sorry and say the new sentence. Okay. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Shreya Kartik, Shreya Kartik, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes, you can ask me. Happy evening, ma'am. Hi. Hello, Kartik. Hello, this is Shreya Kartik, ma'am. I have a doubt that I had a I had an idea that you are you have taken many uh, public speeches and have debates by your speech, ma'am. But I couldn't mm -hmm. understand how was your Fluency at your first debate, ma'am. I couldn't have that fluency till now. That's that's completely okay. I mean, it's going to take time 
to get that fluency it's 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 just completely okay see practice makes a man perfect so once you keep practicing you will get it like i told you i was never good the first time i went i had a lot of flaws so i still have a lot of flaws i still have to practice more to you know better myself every day but when talking about the first time i i had no clue i had no clue what i was going to talk how i'm supposed to rebut what the opposition is saying i seriously had no clue the fluency didn't come just the first time it is going to take time to come and it's okay if you still haven't got it what grade are you in i think she's uh, unmuting herself uh, shriya you're muted shriya one shriya minute shriya ah yes yes which grade are you in shriya no, grade 9 Okay. Yes, okay. Grade nine. It's it's okay. You have so many more years to come. So there are so many more opportunities that you're going to get. You just in grade nine. It's okay if you still haven't gotten the fluency. You're going to learn. Just keep practicing. And Shreya, this is a platform that's created by Shreya. This is the platform that's created by the school for you all to learn and to enhance your skills. So. make use of the best things that are offered by the school by your mentors and we will be actually giving you a lot of practice on a weekly basis to enrich your vocabulary see the right words at the right time the right expressions for the right topic so these are very important things and we will be like sort of giving you some resources before you break and you can actually enrich your language as tarika said reading is so important mm -hmm. so we will give you some websites before you break and uh, you can actually see how you can enrich your language skills and that creates a lot of fluency that because vocabulary and you know your confidence they go well with each other because if you have your vocabulary in hand then you can speak fluently okay Ma'am, Kannan is there ready, Ma'am? Kannan. Yes, Kannan, please. You've been waiting for a long time. What's Kanan? your name? Ma'am, my yeah. Ma'am, my name is Inia. Inia, um, yes, Inia. Tell me. Ma'am, can Ma'am can you know who is a very big inspiration when you are uh, debating and public speaking, Ma'am? Oh, that's a nice question. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 a very nice question. see i i can't say this one person is my inspiration so definitely my mom was the one who started this for me so it cheers to her if it was if it wasn't for her my parents my brother my family i wouldn't have been where i am right now so inspiration as such i look at, look up at lord of public speakers i mean i encourage you to go listen to a lot of these public speakers you can go listen to this person called simon sinek his name is simon sinek he is the world's best public speaker he was awarded the world's best public speaker and isaac servanga i um, quoted him in my speech as well isaac servanga he is an excellent public speaker so i mean if you watch more of these you, you all know about tedx talks right so you can go to youtube and search for these tedx talks you can search for great public speakers like these and uh, you could look so i i wouldn't say my inspiration is just one person so i took inspiration from all of these people to really enhance my strength mithun okay mithun yes mithun yes ma'am so in a situation that uh, you could not you cannot oppose a point that the opponent has just you know stated so what would you do in that situation okay so uh, you say that uh, whatever the uh, opposition has said is right and i can't oppose what he's saying right so see the first thing is don't rebut for the sake of just because you have to rebut in a debate don't rebut what the opposition is saying if you don't have a valid point to support your rebuttal just don't rebut okay because again the judge is going to think you have not 
prepared well that's what the judge is going to say you're not prepared well to support your argument so what you have in mind what your points elaborate on that and if it's only one point that you're not able to rebut that's okay rebut on the other point okay so like i always say just don't rebut for the sake of rebutting unless you have a valid point or a valid example to support what you're saying do not rebut Yes, thank you. Harini, Harini, are you willing to ask question? Harini, yes, ma'am. Yes. Hello, sister. Hi. Sister, what is the most important thing we need to do debate? Ah, uh, what's the most important thing you need to do in a debate? Ah, yes, sister. Okay. Okay, so like I kept reiterating on the same point. First, when you get the topic right, break yes, the top two parts. So try to understand word by word, because every word will make a difference in the motion. Okay, so you have to break the motion into parts. Then research really well. You have to go in and out of the topic. So once you research really well, you will be confident. So you structure your speech very nicely. You say, "This is going to be my introduction. This is going to be uh, my example to support my stance. This is going to be my conclusion." So once you write down your speech, once you jot down the points really well, you will be super confident. And once on the day of the competition, on the day of presenting, be super confident. Although you're nervous inside, show that you're confident outside. okay and uh, so keep enough points uh, and one more thing i wanted to tell you guys is that make sure you uh, um, sort of like know what the opposition team is going to talk about so what your uh, researching on your topic if your side is for try to research on topics uh, on on points against the topic as well because you will sort of have an idea of what the opposition is going to say once you <coughs> I'm sorry. Once you have an idea of what the opposition is going to say, you will have rebuttals ready even before the debate, right? Um, so that is that will really help. So try to uh, research on both the sides of the debate, and uh, yeah. So that's about. Shambhavi, you can unmute yourself. Shambhavi. Shambhavi. Hi, Tarika. Hi. Uh, so i wanted to ask you a question on suggesting tips to beginners on debate and public speaking to connect with the audience more connect with the audience more okay so firstly i'd say um when you start off right start off by watching videos start off by watching now the reason why i keep reiterating the point that youtube videos are really helpful is because you know how the speaker is connecting to the audience how is his eye contact how is he moving his uh, body the hands body language gestures everything is important right so keep watching those videos to start off and then take a topic on your own write a speech whatever comes to your mind just write a speech it's okay if it's bad if it's okay if it's um, there are many errors in it that's totally fine just write whatever comes to your mind and after that try talking in front of the mirror first step before uh, try talking in front of the mirror and then you can try talking in front of your parents your family okay so they would be able to give really good insights on how you are talking so that's the starting point so once you start with first yourself talking in front of the mirror then two or three people around you slowly the circle is increasing you would get used to it you would get comfortable with it okay i hope i answered your question vikashini yes ma'am yes and hi ma'am hi and this is vikashni yeah hi tami and my question is that i would like to be a professional speaker and okay. what is the advantage of uh, this professional speakers okay 
so uh, like i mentioned right simon sinek isaac servanga they are all professional speakers their profession is only to talk and um, inspire people now when they take it as a profession we going to people on a daily basis right or on weekly basis now i told you public speaking is a tool that can be used to inspire change to implement change so imagine if you're going to impact people's lives you're going to make a change in everybody's life just because of your speech and isn't that a good thing taking public speaking as a profession you're going to change people's lives with your words so that is the biggest benefit out of everything i would say did i answer your question I think, uh, Jarika, I think uh, our time is like till six o'clock. Uh, oh, ma'am, could I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. Yeah, um, I have a doubt on like how to like how more intimidating can I be? Like, suppose if I am a person speaking, like I'm uh, speaking for the topic, okay. Mm-hmm. i i just speak like one point against the topic then i keep uh then i keep it's like i'm arguing with myself but since i'm supporting the topic i'll be highlighting like what is good in the topic with one negative point i'll be like arguing with myself will you encourage the way of speaking okay see that you have to play it very very safe because what the opposition might say is that you are contradicting yourself they say you are going against yourself so what i say is instead of using a negative point on your own and trying to argue with yourself use rebuttals as a chance okay because it's going to be redundant if point in your own you you know what you're doing you're giving more points to the negative you get what i'm saying yeah, so I'm if you're talking about call the motion state point and elaborate on it only um, on your side of the house now of course you're going to have you're going to argue with your uh, opposition members why do you want to argue with yourself okay so what i'd say is don't bring in any negative points and if if you want if if situation really are, demands for it then you need to play it very very safe because what the opposition team will say is you're um, contradicting yourself and you're just going to give room for them to make more claims on you did i answer your question yeah ma'am thanks a lot you are welcome Okay, I should be uh, Vanita, ma'am. Uh, I think uh, we just have another five to ten minutes. Yes, ma'am. and uh, I think we should really thank Tarika for being with us, with your mentors, with your teachers. We will just discuss for ten minutes now, and then we will get back to you on Friday with a lot of tips as to what type of books you can use, what type of resources are available on the website. So just kindly. Uh, wait for Friday, and we will see how we can help you with the resources. Okay, and uh, Vanita, ma'am, uh, you can just ask the teachers to stay after your vote of thanks. Yes, ma'am. Teachers, please wait. Um, shall I shall I continue my speech? Yes, yes, yes. yes, 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 yes. Tarika, it was a wonderful session for all of us. Thank you for giving more valuable points about public speaking and debating. Really, we had a very good time with you. Thank you, Tarika, and I hope Thanks. all our Velamal students have got a very good understanding on the topic public speaking and debating. Your journey yes. to this world stage. Ah, uh, we have got a topic that your journey, my journey to this world stage. We have given the topic of yours. So this journey to you, this world stage have inspired us a lot. Thank you very much, Tarika. Thanks. Thank you, students and trainers. for participating this uh, useful session very interactive session thank you all of you and at last but not least 
i thank our management for providing this opportunity to um gain more knowledge about this debating and public speaking thank you thank you everyone nice to thank see you so you. much arika it was nice. very valuable session really very and valuable thanks to all the yes thanks to all the students who had been with us and you all were very very interactive and a beautiful audience those who stayed with us till the end really we should appreciate you for your time and for your interest in staying with us till the end thank you so much we'll meet you, you on friday we'll meet you again on friday with another very good speaker okay thank you children thank you ma'am thank you tarika bye bye everyone bye dear, so bye bye Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye, dear. Bye. Okay. We have the teachers with us. Teachers. Do we have the teachers here with us? The faculty members. Arun Shankar sir is there. David sir is there. Deepa ma'am is there. Deva Singh, and uh, sir. Ma'am, very few are there, ma'am. So should we just wind up? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We'll call later. Uh, Deepa, ma'am, are you there here with us? Um, maybe you should unmute uh, everybody. I think that is important. We have not un. I mean, we everybody is muted. Yes, ma'am. So they won't be able to answer. I think you can just unmute everyone. Yes, ma'am. I have unmuted, ma'am. Yeah. Participants can unmute yourself. I have given permission here. Yes, participants. Uh, teachers, please unmute yourself. It was really very long session. I can understand. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, ma good evening, ma'am. Good evening. This sir. is David, sir, from Velamal Bodhi Campus, Kolar Park, ma'am. Uh, hello, sir. How are you? I'm fine, ma'am. How are you, ma'am? I'm doing good. Sir. How are you? And how is your family? All fine, nice ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. Nice to hear from you after a long time. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. And, uh, any other teachers who are still here with us? Ma'am, still students are there, ma'am. I'm removing, ma'am. That's okay, then. No, no problem. They okay, want to stay. There's no problem. We're just okay, going to stay. There is no problem if they want to stay on. Okay. We're just going to share some resources. So yes, no one. If okay. they're interested, they can stay on. No issue. Okay. And who are the? I mean, uh, staff members. I mean, uh, how many? Amuda Jeeva, ma'am, is there, ma'am? Amuda. Ma'am. Ma Yes, ma'am. It's Amuda Jiva from Velamal to Ragnur, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Thanks for staying on with us. And uh, it's my pleasure, ma'am. Anyone else who is still here? VP, VP, ma'am. VP, ma'am. Anita, ma'am, is there, ma'am? Ma'am, I am Devarthan from Velamal Bodhi Campus, Tanjore. Thank you for arranging this debate uh, orientation, ma'am. Okay. Thank you so much, Devarthan. It was very nice to have you here. We will meet you again on Friday, okay? Okay, ma'am. Um, David sir Thank and you, uh, whoever uh, uh, is there with us, kindly share your strategies. You know that will help us to move on and uh, see how we can, you know, like sort of have another session on Friday with some more resources from every school. Every school faculty member can just tell us, or maybe you can even send it to the group, and then we can have a session on Friday. Is yes, that okay? I think we should break. Yes, everybody is tired. So, uh, Manisha, ma'am, you can just thank them and uh, they will yes, tell us. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, there, ma'am. Yes, 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 Ma'am, uh, so far we haven't focused much on debate, ma'am. So we've just started for quiz, ma'am. Uh, okay. Just recently, I've gathered students for the debate. So I'm planning on actually having maybe a weekly one session for both high school and middle school students regarding this debate, okay. and maybe having mock debates for them as such is what I thought, ma'am. Excellent. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. 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 Thank you
So I think uh, that is from Kolapakum. Maybe others, if they would like to speak to me, otherwise we can always uh, organize for a faculty session on Friday, Vanita ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Ma yeah, that would be better. I okay. think maybe we should just ask them, you know, to take rest. Yes, they must be happy with their family to meet. And... Yes, ma'am. Thank you so Thank much, you, sir, for that uh, input. We will meet again on Friday. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, 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 ma'am. Yes, thank you, ma'am. Anyone else would like to share if you're mm -hmm. still there? Ma'am, uh, it's Amudha Diva from Vilamal Garudnu. Yes, ma'am. Uh, ma actually, I'm taking all this thing as a new, and I've been just like for one year in the school. I'm just like I've completed us, just one year. Amudha, ma'am, are you? All of us here are you? So no matter. <laughs> Myself entirely new to Vilamal family. And no ma'am, what I did no ma'am, it, it was like all of a sudden to select 15 students and then I initiated in my school through group, WhatsApp yes. group, all, uh, almost everyone was interested. So I had a handful of students joining, so I made a separate group for uh, debate and quiz. And uh, I gave invite to all, but very few could only come in. So what I'm planning now, whatever you are giving slides and other things, I'm circulating to almost all the students that is we can Fifteen, the best. Okay. That's all. Okay, fine, fine. And, uh, what uh, what I would say, Ms. Ramuda, it's not necessary to restrict these uh, the student community. You can have see. You saw like we had around two hundred and forty students, and half of them left even before the one hour speech and the questions got over like we had around 140 students at the end of the day and maybe you know, so you can actually gather some more students who are interested because you may not know you know some new students can have something more to give so don't rest I, uh, I agree with that every most of them are interested but no what happened they had online class today uh, scheduled at 5 p.m and uh, no parents are no, expecting them to join. The, yeah. yeah, you can, uh, uh, Vanita ma'am, Friday, you please tell them beforehand to schedule the online session. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I mean, at least uh, permitting these students, like four to six, or should we have it four to six, two to four is better, I think. Okay, so, ma'am. Uh, Amudha ma'am, we will think about it and we'll send the, you know, uh, message even beforehand. Maybe tomorrow we'll fix the time and said tell them so that children don't miss these sessions. Okay. Thank That's you. A very good, yeah, very good. Input, yes, very important. In we were thinking about it. That's why we yes, made it between four and six. But we didn't know even after four children had. I mean, online sessions. We did not know. Yes, okay. Anyone else uh, who wants to speak? The teachers, faculty members who are here with us? Okay, I think. Thank uh, you. I'm so ahead ma'am. Ma'am, I'm Deepika from Vailamal uh, Tripona, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, I found this meeting really helpful, ma'am. The great Thank program, ma'am. Really well organized with uh, plenty of details in this session. So yes. I think uh, very helpful to our uh, students also, not only theoretical and the practical way, uh, some uh, so, uh, social yes. PPT, uh, some material was very uh, pretendent uh, to current yeah. times. Uh, Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. Ma so, and uh, Tarika uh, uh, saw is a very young and the energetic uh, speaker was very... So Deepika, we can see you. We would like to not now, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay, no, ma okay no, ma fine, fine. No ma problem. Well versed on that topic, ma'am. Really, I enjoyed that, and uh, we had an opportunity to for our uh, students also. Did you uh, did from... you see the session yesterday, <coughs> Deepika? Ah, yes, ma'am. Okay, yes, ma good, good, good. Okay. Thank you. So a lot of information, but I think we have to streamline this information. And uh, as you see, like we saw the students interacting. Uh, students are able to interact but even there we need a lot of structures to be built so we will see how slowly and steadily we can help the students to speak correctly to speak confidently okay yes. anyone else who would like to give your feedback ma'am uh, david sir here ma'am 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ma'am, uh, is it possible if we can have the PPT which Tarika shared with the group, ma'am? Sure, sure. Tarika is so my that... niece, actually. My sister's okay, daughter. I will, sure, I will definitely send it to the group, okay? Sure, ma'am. Thank sure. you, ma'am. It will be very helpful because the points that she stated were very helpful as well, ma'am. Because, yeah. because me personally, also, I was part of the debate group while I was in school. I was a mm -hmm. debate participant. So... Okay. It was very good to recall all that she said and mm -hmm. actually compare it to what I had experienced as well, ma'am. So That's it was a very good session, ma'am. And uh, I really appreciate Tarika for her uh, achievements nice. and her, her um, laurels that she's brought at such a young age, ma'am. Oh, that's really kind of you. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. We are really, you know, happy that she's, you know, she belongs to us. Thank you so much. No problem. Okay. Anyone else? Uh, David sir, like on Friday, just get ready with some resources that you have, you know, and uh, we will give like five, five minutes for every school to, you know, uh, present their, uh, what to say, implementation plan and how we can actually, you know, go ahead with this. Because only then we can just get started, you know, with all this, because we are not great on all this. And uh, we want to really, you know, see, like you have some previous experience. So I think you can actually lay the pathway for us to get started. Sure, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Yeah, you can actually sure. tell us what you're going to do in your school and we can learn, you know, from you. Sure, definitely, ma'am. No problem. We're all learning here, ma'am. So I, if, I'd be happy to know, share that experience. Yeah, even you don't want to switch on your video. would like to see you. No? Not no, it's yet. actually, we have a power cut here, ma'am. So this oh, it's oh, in exactly. complete darkness. That's fine, ma'am. Okay, okay, fine. 